Hey, here's a little activity and you've got to do this with me, okay? Fold your hands by interlocking your fingers. One, two, three, go! All right. Now, which thumb do you have on top? Okay. Now hold an imaginary water bottle and open the cap. Which hand did you use to turn? Great job. Come on and give yourself an applause. Hey, which hand do you have on top? The hand that you use in most of these cases or the hand that you have on top might tell you whether you are right-handed or left-handed. Now, you could have switched positions just to prove me wrong, but I know it doesn't feel right. You see, humans tend to have a dominant hand. Now, this is the hand that we prefer to use to do most of our tasks. I prefer to use my right hand, so that's my dominant hand and that makes me a right-handed person. But if you prefer to use your left hand more, you are a left-handed person. And let me tell you this, if you are left-handed, you are pretty special. Why you ask? Well, that's because only about 9% of the world population is left-handed. Hey, that's not one in a million, but nine in a hundred is pretty special too, right? And right-handers, of course, form the majority. But why are some people left-handed? To find out why some people are left-handed, we could start by looking at why most people are right-handed. And we might find a clue or two here. Human brains have two halves or hemispheres. Left hemisphere and right hemisphere. Now, do you think they do the same work? Well, the two hemispheres may come together to complete some functions, but scientists believe that they actually perform very different tasks. For example, the left brain is taking care of the speech while I'm talking to you. Solving mathematical problems or writing a paragraph too are tasks for the left brain. While coming up with creative ideas for a piece of art or a music composition is a task for the right brain. It is the right brain that even makes us recognize emotions. So, the next time something makes you feel excited, thank your right brain for that. And each of these hemispheres is also responsible for controlling the movement in half of the body. But there's a catch. The left hemisphere is responsible for moving the muscles in the right half of the body. While the right hemisphere is usually responsible for moving the muscles in the left half of the body. Hmm. So, spoken and written language is controlled by the left part of the brain. You see the connection, right? It is then obvious why most people tend to use their right hand dominantly. But what about left-handers? Well, it may appear that left-handers use the right side of their brain more. However, research says that about 70% of the left-handers use the left side of their brain for speech and writing. Just like the right-handers. Surprising, isn't it? So, if a left-hander's brain works similar to a right-hander's brain, then why do left-handers prefer to use their left hand? Well, to answer that question, let's see when this preference started. When you were just a little over three months in your mother's womb, you started sucking one of your thumbs, the left thumb if you're left-handed. Now, at that time, your brain had not started controlling your movements, but you had a favorite thumb. Why is that? Now, there is a slight chance that this can happen even if both of your parents are right-handed. The search for the answer takes us back to our genes. Let's go way back into history, to the times when our ancestors used to fight with weapons made out of stones. 
all the right-handed warriors would naturally use their right hand to fight. And our right-handed warrior here would be familiar with how to fight them. Now, if suddenly he were to face an opponent that was left-handed, it would confuse our right-handed warrior because he would not be used to fighting a left-handed warrior. So, the left-handed warrior would have an advantage in a dominantly right-handed society. It is a strongly believed hypothesis that this advantage of being left-handed might have been favoured by evolution and passed on to some people over thousands of years. Even today, in sports such as boxing, tennis, cricket or baseball, we see that a left-handed opponent can surprise a right-handed one with unfamiliar moves. But the chances of being left-handed aren't that high even when both of your parents are left-handed. So, left-handed people end up being the minority in our right-handed world. So much so that being left-handed was actually considered a stigma. And parents used to pressurize their left-handed kids to use their right hand. The world around us is also designed to favor right-handers. See this? If I were left-handed and preferred to pick up the measuring jar in my left hand, I wouldn't be able to check the reading. Same goes for computer accessories, scissors, rulers, pencil sharpeners, measuring tapes, bottle openers, guitars, cameras. I mean, the list just goes on. One thing we do know for sure is that left-handers are pretty unique and being left-handed doesn't indicate a problem in the body. So, righties may rule, but lefties are cool. Hey, did you notice something? The math doesn't add up. If 90% of the population is right-handed and 9% is left-handed, what about the remaining 1%? What do you think? <laughs> Let us know in the comments section below. And for more such fun and interesting content, download the Baiju's app. See you soon.